The leaders of the Commonwealth are meeting on a divided island, and their Cypriot hope used this morning's opening ceremony to try and push their dispute with Turkey to the top of the agenda. Delegates were shown images of the Turkish invasion of almost 20 years ago. A recurring theme this morning has been that the Cyprus problem is just the sort of area in which the Commonwealth should have a role. Outside the hall, thousands of women linked hands to remind delegates of those Greek Cypriots who have been missing since the invasion. The presence of so many leaders here has served to fill the Greek community with hope that their Turkish enemies may at last be pressured into making concessions. The Queen could not escape Cyprus politics either. She toured Limassol Castle, used during the Crusades by Richard the Lionheart, for a ceremony in which she was to have been given the keys to the city. In the event, a ceremonial plaque was substituted. The local council fearful of more demonstrations against the hanging of nine Greek Cypriots at the Rising The windscreen of her Rolls Royce had to be hurriedly replaced after being smashed by a protester last night. Into all this stepped John Major, anxious to steer the conference back onto the issues of GATT and the freeing up of world trade. We need to make our voice heard, the Commonwealth's voice heard, about the need for GATT agreement. This will be the central theme of his speech to the conference this afternoon, that the Commonwealth, containing as it does some of the world's poorest countries, stands to gain around $50 billion from increased world trade, and that this therefore must be its top priority. James Mates, ITN, Cyprus.